Okay, so... We are still in... The Shadow Temple. Everyone has just leveled up. We're all feeling good. Before the shadows, there was once a house full of warmth and children's laughter in this one's life. No more. No more. I feel like what's quite depressing about reading, like, the memories of the shadows is, um... Some of them are, like, over a hundred years old. Like, some of them, some of them have only recently been turned. Some of them it is ancient. Okay. Something. Empty that chest. I think... I think we gutted the place. Yeah. Apparently not. No traps, please. No traps, please. I hope not. Blow of the Shonfa. Find a rich history of the Shonfa River. Evidently, it flowed through a half a dozen settlements or more and more springing up over time. And the picture this book evokes is that lasts a hundred years. One of barges drifting over the orange water under a burning autumn sky. The barges smelling of cask wine, salted pork, exciting spices. Less exciting spices like rosemary. Which is still fragrant and nice, but altogether not terribly exciting. And children running barefoot by the banks, waving to the grinning, sweating sailors from their play among the river reeds. This person had some feelings about rosemary. Like, yeah, it's a spice, but it's not. That's not that good. Saluna's D.O.T. This diary records the life of John Mead... Mead... Medellin? Medellin. Uh, he suffered from lichen... Excuse me? Are there were-creatures in Baldur's Gate? Like, as in, like, the actual gameplay? We haven't... To my knowledge, we haven't come across any. Okay, let me... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Got very distracted. Uh, this diary records the life of John Edeland. He suffered from lycanthropy. Lycanthropy? Lycanthropy. We know how to speak. Uh, becoming a werebear at the advent of the full moon. Cured of his condition by a priestess of Saluna, John Medellin exchanged his claws for a great sword and a cause. He would keep this priestess, her name was Alona, uh, safe from all trouble on the highways and byways. Further, he would bear <laughs> witness to her many miracles, but Alona was a saint of the goddess, gifted even more than he could have imagined. They never fell in love, but their friendship was quite something. Was this, like, I get that she cured him and all that sort of stuff, but this kind of reads like, oh, like one of, one or both of them were queer and they're like, we'll just hang out. Um, and, and you can protect me and we'll go cure people because you're all about that. Um, and off we go. A rich and fertile land. The ancient map depicts the area surrounding Moonrise Towers in detail, depicting a profusion of local fauna, deer, rabbits, black bears, and flora, with a uh, special emphasis placed on areas of prolific foraging. Not anymore, it isn't. Um, oops. Scroll the feather fall. There you go, Shadow Heart. Water. Ooh. Smarmy Swaggerer Boots. <laughs> can we have a... Can we have a... Nice. So we'll send those to the camp. The sandals and stuff we already have. Oh, oh. Now. Is this for... No? Like, can we blast our way through the side? No? Apparently not. That's fine. Corsairs of Luskar. Uh, spends a good number of pages on Luskan. Tucked like a gold filling, or some would say a pus-filled abscess, at the mouth of the river Mirar. Luskan is a city of merchant princesses, swarthy bandit princes, and the most diverse, cutthroat, and fractured cabal of pirates on Torlum. Torn into factions, these piratical groups are known as ships. Here the book details each faction with a frankly dizzying attention to detail, 
the one point of interest is that a ship curse faction are in fact controlled by a secret mercenary company of drow. Well, that seems like a good bit of knowledge to have. We are encumbered. Of course we are. We're full of books. Harvest of Memory. Brought to the Shadowfell, which is a reflection of the world you're in, and a dark reflection too, rife with wickedness and twisted echoes and despair, by their raven queen, the Shadar Kai, are elves. Not elves as you might find along the Sword Coast, but elves that reflect their home with their physiology and attitude. On the whole, they are cruel, nasty-minded people, who are nonetheless singularly devoted to their queen and her domain of power. This, that domain is life and death, and in their unwavering fealty to their mistress, the Shadarkai perform the thankless duty of ferrying the memories of the dead for her to admire. Myra? Her to admire in a kind of memory-based menagerie. Interesting. Raven Queen. That's very interesting. Like, on a on a world building sort of note just just really bass and dainty send all these spells to shadow heart the books I'm inclined to hold on to the ones that are here Orange, is there legendary? <laughs> it's always it's always funny when clearly you said something that is part of the wake words that devices use to um, to activate right and then every so often something happens so you're like I, I said no such thing gorgeous maroon die I am inclined to give us a bit of a glow up. There is what I'm currently wearing. I think this is it. Currently equipped? Yes. Fabulous. Look, it's not it's not popping, but I like I like the uh, I like the purple. I do like it. Okay, we should be unencumbered. Yes, fabulous. Okay, nothing left for us to loot. I think should be good to go. I think we have to, yeah, we've got to manually get ourselves out of here. That's empty. Fabulous. Oh, that's right, we were in this little bit. We found the secret button. Lady Dion said it best. She said it's all coming back to me now. Because ideally... Ideally we want to go to the House of Healing, I think it's called? Um, which is where... The gentleman back at Last Light Inn was muttering... I think this is it? Art. Art Kalar. Um, investigate the House of Healing. So... That's what we're gonna do. Where's the door? Go out this way. Got everybody? Yes. Okay. I go along here? I think we do. Okay. And we're back to the game being making us nervous again. Because this is all... Like, I'm still... 
corpse rose. I'm still very impressed that you need coffee for this. Uh -huh. I did. Whoa. It uh, it's it is like it's weirdly stressful. Um, and I'm I'm quite thankful that people haven't actually. I would say that they haven't really spoilt a lot of Baldur's Gate. I, look, part of it is I haven't gone looking for the content, but also, like, yeah, I, I've barely seen any of the Shadowland stuff, um, which just seems to imply that um, not many people have actually put some together. It's a little bit gross. Just a bone. Okay. Tombstones. Are we meant to read tombstones? Here lies the best smith in Rythwen. Our swords will never slice us true. Well, that's bad. Uh, it's always more exciting. I have absolutely no idea. It's a lucky. I, I completely, I completely agree with you, Meta. Like, it's just, there's just a bit at the back of your neck that's constantly, like, spiking away because you're like, I don't know what's gonna happen. In life, it's horrible. 100%. Yeah, exactly. In the game, we can reload a save, we can walk away, we can play something else. <laughs> Here rests Callista Freeclaw, legendary brawler. Died in his sleep, to the surprise of many. Oh, they're like, we thought he was going to die in fights. Uh, he did not. I also don't know if... If one of these... Oh, I do not like that noise. If one of these sarcophaguses is just going to explode with an enemy. Because that happened in Act 1. Um, so it's not outside of the realm of possibility. We want to go in here? Oh, they've, they've done such a good job with, like, the ambient noise. Like, just the random falling of, like, a metal bar or something. You're like, who did, who did that? Uh, we don't need a dagger. Well, this robe is quite pretty. That can go to camp. I always imagine, like, the whole sending to camp thing. I'm just imagining that they're like, ooh, nice. And they sort of flick their wrist and it just... <laughs> Magic's away. Okay. Oh. Something, something's definitely uh, jingle jangling, jingle jangle clanging. Wind in the. Oh boy. Um. A lot of, a lot of tombstones. Images of people that are trying to break through whatever this wall is. Who the? Sister Vanessa. Sister Anya. Oh, there's some. There's some. There's some black magic shit going on in here. And this is. Oh, is this where we're going to have to. Oh, that person's still alive? Oh, ho, ho. I don't know how much. God. Is there anything to actually. This could potentially be like a back. Oh, God, it goes on forever. Wait, is this like an exit to the Shadowlands? No. I love that it seems like we've gone so far, but at the same time, there's the end. There is a fast travel point up here. Okay. Oh, oh, potentially. A okay. 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 Let's read some tombstones. Here lies Largo Crivens the Younger, taken along with his family on the same grim night. May their deaths be avenged. Largo Crivens. Oh, hang on. Wait. 
Wait, they're both Lago Cribbins? Why does he have two tombstones? In memory of Warwick Marsh, dearly missed by both his wives. Soothe each vein with the tenderest touch. No, thank you. Okay. Oh! Oh, there was definitely something... Oh, something highlighted in red. The bad guy. Um, we're gonna... slain in battle. They must have a stronghold nearby, or a temple. Who? The f in Raphael. Raph, mate, I just wanted to activate the fast travel. Oh, let's go talk to the jerk. I don't want to go in there. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead. Did not consider the peace of the dead. No, no, no. Through the dark, he went creeping and awoke what was sleeping. No! A new grave they dug, which he himself fed. Raph, I'm not trying to... Ooh, spooky. God, I love that woman. Um, a warning, no less. Don't tell me you're worried about me. How long have you been standing around practicing that little recital? Uh, hey, very welcome on in. Uh, they say you don't grow up, you just grow old. It's safe to say I haven't done both. Oh. Cat's distracted. What? Okay, um. So you don't grow up, you just grow old. It's safe to say. Oh. The very first bit, like they say you don't grow up, is like it's something. Something in the grey matter is like, mm, I think we know this. The rest doesn't. I think it might be in like the the rhythm. That in reading in reading, it's it's probably not the right rhythm, which is fine. Um My brain's trying to put it in, like, in, like, rap. Say you don't grow up, you just grow old. <laughs> no, I feel like that's probably very, very wrong. It's not a Beastie Boys song, I'm guessing. <laughs> I love that Raphael does that whole thing, and we go, Are you saying there's treasure? He's like, I, I told you that the dead will rise and try and kill you. It's like, yeah, but treasure? Shiny? No, not them, no. <laughs> that is fair enough. Um, I will definitely need a hint, Fairy. Definitely need a hint. Okay, much Um, but we will continue with this person. A warning, no less. Don't tell me you're worried about me. Merely protecting my assets. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. In my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. I can handle myself, Raphael. <laughs> so you expect me to turn and walk away. What dangers are those? I mean, undead creatures, clearly. Oh. <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to bar you from entering. But I can... Set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. What? How do you even know there's danger ahead? I know my I know my role, even if you don't. It's to kill Ketherick. Cut to the chase, we no. We'll like fine. Paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Okay. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Spell it out. Enough of your jibber-jabber. Be gone. 
Can we persuade a devil? Paint me a clearer picture than that. Let's, let's, let's try and persuade him. I mean, we got charisma. We can schmooze. Let's see. Consider yourself a schmooze. Ah! A cumulative 20. Lovely. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. There's a devil down Should there? Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. Oh, like, I don't in want truth, to be there. It is carnage incarnate. Kill Raphael's so old enemy. The devil of which I speak. Kill it. Consider no other course of action. Uh, in Pokemon, there is an item that forces a Pokemon to be switched out if it hits a Pokemon that's holding it. Change the color of this item and you have the name of the band. Oh. <laughs> Very, that is one heck of a hit. I am trying to, I thought the item, I've never used the item. I think I've read it once. I thought it was called like emergency button. I was like, whoop, that's not a color. R like red, red button or like a red ticket. <laughs> it's, it's a very, it's a very, very clever, <laughs> it's a very clever hint. Um, Red, or like, it might be like, red button, red flag, red ticket, red, I'm trying to think of like other things that might symbolize people being switched out. I'm assuming the original color is red, so like the color of the item. That's, that's just a hell of an assumption. Let's see if we can do an insight. Okay, it's another 10. Oh, we're proficient in insight. Original colors in big red. Okay. I feel like it's it feel like it's not going to hi, big red. Um. So maybe like blue, green, yellow. Uh. And I'm trying to think like like red, red flag, red switch, maybe. I'm, I'm really not sure. It's, a, it's an amazing, it's an amazing way to give a hint. Amazing way to give a hint. Really stretching that, like, nerdy, geeky, gamer, like, <laughs> test of knowledge. I love it. I love it. Okay. I love that we're going to end up rolling, rolling to the point that Raphael could have just told us from the start. This creature and I go back a long way. Okay. I admit, it would be in my best interest as well, should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? What are we talking here? Lemia? Pit Fiend? Orthon? She spent ten years it's in the hell. Warmer. Warmer. So it's an Orthon? Yeah, Fairy, I definitely give up. Hot. I definitely give up. Are you afraid of this creature, Raphael? Sounds like an acquaintance I'd like to make, actually. I... I feel like he's afraid. He doesn't want it out. And if it starts to get out, he wants it dead. I'm afraid, Raphael. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. After all, okay. if there is one rule I hold dear, it's that one must always give the devil his due. Oh, I was, I was about to see if we could ask, like, hey, what do we get in return? for killing this thing. Um, song is Here I Am Alive by Yellow Card. Okay. What I'm gonna do, cause my Spotify is linked to my stream, so I'm gonna play it on that. But I'm just gonna have a very quick 
Um, and I have a very quick listen just to see if I've heard it before. It's very usually come in with the uh, with the goods. I have never heard that song before, but that chorus is slapping. That's cool. Thank you, Fairy. Um, what I will quickly do while we're all we're all paused here at the situation, um, we also make a donation each month to a charity or a not-for-profit. This month, uh, it is to Life Saving Victoria um, to thank them for all the work that they do. The, we're heading into the summer period, so it means that they've got a lot more work that's going to be happening over the next few months. Um, particularly because it's looking to be a very hot and dry one, so a lot of people will be heading down to uh, the beaches and the waterways across Victoria. And so all of their um, volunteer members of the different life-saving clubs do a lot of work. They put in a lot of work and they save a lot of lives, unfortunately. Um, and so we also have a redeem that goes along with it. So thank you very much to also Sinestro, Chellis, Meta, and Olive as well um, for using the redeem that pops up once a week. So thank you very much for that. Uh, it's a new discovery for me. I only heard it uh, last week. It's amazing. It's really, it's really nice and like, like I jumped into because it was like a film clip or whatever. I was like, oh, I'll just jump into here, and it was literally the bit that you put into the. Um, into the chat so thank you very much for that okay well i okay i i don't want to fight whatever um he's afraid of um i just wanted to activate the fast travel um a record of Catherick thorn's speech to his troops before his victory over the druids and harpers take this you there take this from me that is gold friends let those who are covetous and cravens among you take my gold and go. There's enough to keep you warm in winter, but in those cold and lonely winters to come, you will look into the bought flames in the purchased hearth and see a bargain for peace, and then you'll realize that such a retirement comes at the price of pride. Go on and take it. Take it and go. Those who are not afraid and I, we won't stop you. But neither shall we know a winter in which the coin of regret is idly spent. Instead, we shall know blood and fury, and a triumph worthy of a flame reconcilable only with heaven. I swear it. Against us arrayed is a group of fools. Let them be our bank vault. Let us raid them, friends. Let us grow rich on screams. Catherick is creepy. Uh, we're gonna send that to camp. Um, what is the countdown in the corner? So, Meta, the countdown in the corner is to the next um, Pokemon to pop up. So, usually, like, when we've got our old sort of screen, let me let me bring up the the usual screen that we have. This one? So when it's usually like this, the blank space between... Well, you know, now we've got all that. Um... But usually the the little animation of the Pokemon will pop up there as well. But I thought for something like boulders that has like a lot of like being able to see a lot more of the screen. So that's why I've created this specific one. So there's just sort of me here, all this, um, and then we left the timer so that way people could if they if they're wanting to know when the next one's coming up, they'll still be able to see that. Um, it just means that there's no uh, there's like a GIF animation of like the Pokemon that pops up in our one. But yeah, exactly. Uh, in regards to the podcast, which is released, Inception, <gasps> amazing. Into the Woods. I... Into the Woods. That's the musical, yeah? I think I've seen it once. I've, I've been seen it on, like, Netflix, like the movie version. Um, I haven't seen the actual stage show. It was fine. Uh, West Side Story, 2021, fabulous. And Coco. I need to watch Coco. And Cruella, Cruella, I thought was brilliant. Um, I don't need a redemption apology story for every single, you know, villain in the Disneyverse. 
<laughs> but I thought Cruella was very well done. Uh, next recordings will be Dragon Prince Season 3. Amazing. Live action Beauty and the Beast. I think in regards to the live action Beauty and the Beast, it almost should have been sold as a movification of like the stage show. I haven't seen the stage show, but it felt it felt like a lot more in line um, with like a stage show and sort of a difference in the telling of the story. Because I think with a lot of like you saw it with like Little Mermaid and all that sort of stuff, I still haven't even watched the live action Aladdin. Um, a lot of people turning up to that are like, oh, because we love the OG. And they turn up and it's a little bit different or whatever and they're like, what is this? <laughs> so I think I think they need to I think they need to stop making them. Um and make some new IP, like seriously. But also, um They just they just like there's 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 so many ideas out there in the world. Why are we constantly trying to the dead just of the remake Arab stuff? Enclave. They lay here ever since their war against Catherick Thorne. These are all the druids. That might be worth a look. Druids and the harbors. We will dig that up shortly. Pudgy, you've got four minutes and there's dinner time. Just pace him. Just pace him. Go hungry. But they actually could have just made Corolla an original story. It's compelling enough that it didn't need to be tied to Hunter's Information. I think, yeah, I think it was definitely... Like, the, they didn't need... Because... Were Pongo and Padita in it? Or was it their owners, I want to say? John? And... I have Pongo and Padita in my head, and I'm like, I can't think of what the humans are called, because it was a movie about dogs. <laughs> Meanwhile, Carlac's doing a little hot shoe shuffle. Um... This is... Dig up some dirt. Okay, grave marker. Barrel. Skeleton. Did we just open this? Grave. Let's not open actual graves. That seems like a lot. Of actual graves seems seems to go beyond disrespectful. Mm. Are we meant to get? Oh, we can. Oh, let's go activate the fast travel just so that we have it. Human owners weren't in it, and neither were the dogs. There were dogs in the movie, and some were Dalmatians. Them, not the characters. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought, yeah, I I need to watch it again because it was, I I did enjoy it. It did enjoy it. Um, didn't need to be like a. Like it sort of gave a reason for Cruella to be the way Cruella was. Um. But yeah, I, I was sort of afraid that, like, oh, are we going to get all these, like... Like, is this going to be their new thing? Like, oh, we're going to give alternatives to all the old villains. To be like, oh, see, they're just misunderstood. And you're like, no, no, they're... They're absolutely bonkers. Oh, we all failed perception. Guys. <laughs> Come on. I'm hoping it's just This is why we're this is why we're sending in shovel first, because I'm hoping it's just a dirt mound that we failed to see and not Oh, I thought Oh no the roof is open. Okay. Painted chest. Interesting.
Hello? Okay, so we have a wooden chest. Not some uh, alternate timeline where she deals with become a dog murderer. Because she used... Oh, hang on. Can Shovel read? Attack. Oh, don't attack. That's probably useful information. Um, I'm hoping the only thing that we... The perception we failed on... Okay, I don't... I don't think we can actually go that way. That's fair enough. Um, I'm hoping the thing that we failed on was like a dirt mound and not an actual trap. All's well that ends. Oh, not as bad as it could have. Actually, Karlak has... Oh, I could go for a good meal. Karlak has the most help. Um... Emma Thompson was like her boss. <gasps> Oh no! No 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 Where did they all come from? <laughs> Thank you, Meta. <laughs> exactly. We're all on the same page. There's so many. There's so many. So many fish people. 62! 16, okay. Oh, okay, so... Okay, so that's the chief. Is, is everyone else, like, a little bit 20... A little bit more malleable? Let's call them that. Shadow Cursed Undead. Great. Fabulous. Love it. How, how lucky for us. We are going to... Uh, they're immune to burning. Are you kidding? They're fish. They're wet. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Okay. Um. Well, this is going to prove... This is going to prove difficult for us to try and get through alive. Oh, boy. Okay. You you're gonna get your rage on, babe. This is gonna be a bad time. Bring in the cat people to fight the fish people. Exactly. If only. If only. Hang on, let's I mean shovel's the closest thing we've got to a cat. But we're gonna get them and get them involved. Um she did say she would kill her mother and her dogs, but she didn't end up doing that. And also, and a whole scene after that, uh, she crossed the line. What did it say? Yeah, and that's, I think, for me, that's where it was like, oh, they trying to... They trying to be like, oh, she just, she just lost it a little bit. Um, there we go. Get in, shovel. Um, okay, so back to... Hot, hot. Back to Karlak. And turn. Wait, why did... Oh, because Karlak's the only one that can't get some... Surprise. Stop putting me into it. Yep, they all got surprised except for... Shovel and Karlak. Shouldn't have come down here. Oh. Wait, did it get trapped in its own net? Oh, I do not like, I do not like the running. Oh, more running. Immobile? I don't need to be mobile. Do I? I feel like I probably do. Okay, they're all still wet. So we can't move. That's fine. Because we can throw. We can throw. Lots of shit. We're not gonna throw Alchemist Fire. We're gonna throw... Gonna throw a Javelin. Sixteen, twenty... Let's throw a Javelin. Love it. We can throw again. 
We have two moves. We throw another javelin. Easy as. Oh, you little bastard. And then, because we're in rage mode, we can throw a dagger. That's gonna. That'll at least kill one, but I feel like I can do that as Hestu, maybe. Because that one's now prone. Uh, the whole, I just felt uh, that they took some dude's original script and changed it to be 101 Dalmatians spin off. Potentially! So when that scene happened, I didn't even think about it. Trying to downplay her cartoonish evilness in the movie. Yeah, in the original movie, where she. She does! You know what the, what the crazy. It, look, I, I will definitely admit it has been decades since I've seen the original. Um. But I do remember, like, the big car, the crazy eyes, um, good times, good times, uh, scratch. One fish person down. Great. Great. Uh, let's get Shovel up here to try and... Oh, we're a mobile. Oh, because we're also in snare. Fabulous. Where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? Daddy Hesu, you... Sushi time! Daddy Hesu, you are gonna... I'm gonna shoot your little laser beams. Still only do two projectiles. Can we recast? Oh, it needs another spell. Okay, no. Wait. Wait. Creatures cannot make range attacks in or out of it. Much coverage. So, I kind of when I when we tinkered, when we tinkered with Hester, he now has uh, he always he always has see invisibility because Volo took our eyeball out. As you do. Um, however, he can now. He now has like a magical seeing into darkness. I now want to double check before before we do this. Um, Devil sight, I think it is. You can see normally in darkness, both magical and non-magical. So. If we butter being all these people, Ten. and then I think I could just get myself in there. We'll be able to see, and they won't. Now I don't have enough moves left to do anything else, but. It gives us a good... It gives us a good play, because we can shoot them, we can stab them. We're, we're in a... We're in a good spot. I am fury. I am death. Okay. Can we get... Lazel? Not for that. It's like, yeah, sure. But she's gonna be 18 and her legs are gonna be broken. Come here, Munchkin. We're gonna... Okay. Yep, stuff me. Um, she's gonna go for a walk. Okay, can we get down to here? Ideally, I want her in here swinging her blade, but she is not gonna have enough distance. So put her here. You know what? We're just gonna shoot some fish in a barrel. Uh, regarding exception. Ow. Fabulous. Any more? No. Uh, regarding exception, I purchased that movie on a whim! Because it was on sale on Google for five bucks. Since so then I share a movies anywhere I can. She was able to watch the movie too, and honestly it has to be one of the best movies I've seen for the first time this year. I was still planning to do a ranking do. It it was it was really like when it first 
uh, came out. Some friends and I went and saw it at the movies. It's one of those things that, like, we we're like, should we? Let's let's go out for like hot chocolate and whatever. And let's have a chat about like the end because it it just really, oh, it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, no, warning flare. Do not hit. Do not hit my girl. Shovel. Shovel. I'm so sorry. I'm so. I'm sorry. Shovel. Uh, let's get Shadow Heart. Close. Now, what level are these? Six. Okay. Can we... Ignish! Probably not. I mean, if she can kill this one, it's one less to deal with. Are you kidding? Does that thing have one health left? You little bastard. What? Fire infusion? Shadowheart, what did I give you? What is this shield? Okay, it's not, it's not the shield. It's one of the rings. Ring of elemental infusion. When you deal element damage with a spell or cantrip, it infuses your weapon. So now, now we steal health and do fire damage with the sword of life stealing. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. But yeah, no fairy. Look, I completely agree with you in regards to Inception. Brilliant film. Brilliant film. So good. Oh god. Is this the chief? No. Where's the chief? The chief has too much health. A boat. What are you doing, fish people? What are you doing? Why, why are you all the way? Why are you all the way back there? Ah, missed us. I missed her. No. Oh. No longer ensnared. Okay. It's gonna get serious. Oh, it's oh, it's on fire, which is our own fault. We know how long the fire lasts. One turn remaining. Bill, I feel like if we get in there, I've got it. Hey, boys. Ah! She's fire resistant. Um, let's definitely take out this one. Alright, Steve. Um, let's start smacking this one. Oh, uh, and now she should also be able to do bonus action, make another melee. Fabulous. Um, let's smack this one. Love Karlak. Um, it's going in the lineup of my favorite movies of all time. Scott Pilgrim, beautiful. Tangled, agreed. Inside Out. Yes, everything ever all at once. Absolutely. Matrix, heck yes. A silent voice. Catching fire and Avengers Infinity War. A silent voice. Let me, let me do a little, do a little, uh, Jack Googles. Silent voice. Bill. Okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay, lovely, and Catching Fire. Oh, is in like Hunger Games Catching Fire? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Agreed. I think like out of all of them, Catching Fire was the best. Um, not to say that I don't enjoy is a weird word to say, but I think they, I think they're all very well done. And similar to, like, every so often, I just enjoy watching, like, all of the Lord of the Rings again. Like, <laughs> yeah, which I've literally done over, like, the past two weeks. It'll be, like, a rainy day. I'm like, yeah, we're just going to watch this. Um, is this the Chief? Yes. 
I reckon if we get Shovel up in the Chief's face, it means that Shovel will take the Chief's next move. Which gives us time to thin out more of the other fish. Go Shovel. Good job, buddy. You can be summoned again. It'll be okay. Um, well, so much for peace. Okay. Let's get our sparky fingers happening. Now, one of you, fabulous. I should probably just take out two of them, hey? Because the rest, I'm not going to be able to actually end them. But if two get taken out, it means Lazel can get in there and swing at the rest. Good night, gentlemen. Now, something happened in that combat log. We've got dark ones. Oh, we lost it and got it back, so we must be back to 10 temporary hit points, potentially. Um, arcane synergy. I thought there was something called... I thought there was an orb something that popped up too. Apparently not. That's fine. Um... Do a little, do a little stabby stabby in the darkness. Hey, what's going on? Okay, bye. Um, someday I may rank my top twenty favorite movies. I'm gonna find it really hard. Absolutely, absolutely. I think too. The, I think, and fairy. I'm assuming you just have a list. Of everything you've ever watched. I think that's probably half of what other people's problem would be trying to do, like, a top 20. Because once you've got the list, then you can swap stuff out. Like, as you, you, you sort of would have 20, you'd be like, yeah, this is, this is the 20, but I've still got, like, a, 200 more movies to go through. And in that, you're like, oh, oh, this one. Actually, you know what? Because this one's going in, this one's going out. Like, it's a great film. It's not actually top 20 if I'm including this. I think the hardest part for a lot of people would be that they just haven't tracked everything, like all the movies that they've watched. Um, so it'd be, it would be, it'd be really hard. It'd be a really interesting, it'd be a really interesting thing to do, like in the podcasts. Like, like, hey, like, you know, we're gonna go through this and we're gonna, gonna have, I think having conversations between like the two of you to not necessarily decide on a joint 20, but to each do your own 20. Be fascinating. You've made a great stabby stabby! Mistake. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, we're still in darkness. I'm gonna put ourselves back here again. Just in that way. We're thoroughly in darkness. I like I like this build, for lack of a better term, with arcane synergy and arcane acuity. The synergy looks like it goes on our weapon and the acuity looks like it goes in our spell caster. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing! Okay, uh, well that's all the damage that we can do now. I am fury. I am death. I am fury. I am death. I am gonna kill you all. Okay, big sword, babe. Let's... 18. Good night, sweetheart. Bye. This one, eighteen to thirty-one. Oh, let's 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 roll high. Did you dodge me, you son of a gun. Critical miss. Punch. Come here. What are you doing? It's not raining. <laughs> um. No problem at all, Fairy. Thank you very much for hanging out. Thank you very much for the lyrics. Greatly appreciate it. We must have used our, our action surge already. Grumbles. Um, okay, I think we're just going to stand there and look intimidating. Bonus action. I'm going to smack you with this then. Good night. Okay, I want you... Electrified water. Oh, it's because they're drenched. And we, I'm assuming we used a lightning charge. 
Ah! Whoa! Wait, if I'm electrocuted, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to. Can I pee munchkin? Can I have a nap? Hey! Hey, bye! Um. I'm not going to be able to react to them, am I? Hey! Okay, we will just have to deal with being electrocuted. It's fine. Hey, are you coming up here? Or not? That's fine. I was gonna say, these two are gonna either try and hit her. Ooh! Or shoot her in the face, apparently. Um, let's. Shadowheart here. a 13 to hit and a roll a 22. Gross. This might save shovel. It did not. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So our shovel can be resummoned. It's, it's the beauty and the magic of shovel. Okay, no more fire to deal with. Let's Yet. Now, does she have a wide swing attack? No, that's reckless attack. Okay, so we're just, we're just gonna... Take people out. Good night. Good night. Good night. And she just leaves you, pop it. And you know what? We're just gonna stay right here. Can't even catch my breath. Okay, as for Lord Hester. Now, is this electrified? What's not electrified? Hang on, let's shoot these munchkins into the wall first. No, let's not shoot Lazel. Jesus. Dunno. They've got radiating orb on them. Okay, so it must have come off the other ones because they died. Thought I was like, there's a there was an orb attack. What did I miss? Now, this is only coming up as darkness, but that's gonna put us into light. Kinda I'm just gonna leave gonna leave Hester where he is. I will ascend. I will ascend, baby. We're just gonna kill this thing. Good night. Now, we're a mobile. Wait. Ooh. Every so often. <clears throat> See how it pops up for half a second? I feel like. There's probably a way for like the tip of her sword to hit him. And I just we need to get it close. So I feel like if it pops up for half a second, it's probably just us getting the right angle.
Maybe not. Maybe I'm pushing my luck. Uh, nine out of... Okay, we should be able to change to this. 90%. That's fine. Okay. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm like, hopefully doing that turns her back to a melee weapon, which it does. So, even if the fish tries to do something, we're covered. How many do we have left? Two, three, four. Five, four. Okay. And the chief is one of them. Do not shoot Karlak in the face. That is so rude. Um, hey, madam. Have to keep going. Do. Gonna get you to the boss. It's taken any damage. It has. She could potentially take it out. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh. Okay, let's get into it. Spiritual weapon. It's sushi town. Uh, fabulous. Okay, two more fish. This little dude. Yeah, don't try and ensnare the spiritual weapon. Okay, Karlak. Oh, it seems like such a waste for her Whatever. It's gotta be taken care of. Now, as for you, sir, how you doing? It's a big old 10. And you know what? She's in a frenzy. 14. He was me at the start being like, oh no, the chief is 62 health at level 7. Nothing That's will okay. stand in my way. Trust, trust in the ladies. Um, okay. Let me... I don't think I'm going to be able to Eldritch Blast anyone else. Because we can't shoot through dirt, apparently. 99%! However, the path is interrupted by, like, the earth. Hey! You want to come in here? What's going on, Munchkin? an independent lady. That's fair enough. Well, looks like this dude is getting uh, both barrels. Done. And getting yeeted up the wall. That was hilarious. Okay. I can't tell. Okay, so that's electrified. So if we Ooh, jump to there... there? Not electrified. Still in darkness. Sick. Okay, we're potentially gonna have to come out. There's a Lunatone in the chat. If you've not played Pokemon community game before, use exclamation poker start, which will set you up as a Pokemon trainer. Um, it's entirely text-based. You don't need to spend any money. Uh, you gain like in-game currency just by hanging out in people's chat who play the game. Um, and you can then try and catch a Pokemon using exclamation poker catch. Uh, good luck to you now. Okay, we're Time gonna hold. To strike. Time to strike. Urgh. Okay, now we need some more non-electrified stuff again. Don't like it. Okay, can I get you? Can I at least get you here. Ah, oh, she got electrocuted. God damn it. She has no more. She has no more running. Fine, this is why we've given her a bow. Burn, baby, burn. Is this thing now in electrified water as well? Where did all this electricity come from? I mean, our bow does spark. Like, it gives us lightning charges. Fabulous. What happens when you're drenched, you little munchkin? Okay, we are going to... Who are we up to? Shadowheart. To act fast. Babe, I'm just going to get you to shoot a fireball.
ball in the back of its head. Fabulous. That's all you needed to do. Okay, fish boy. Ooh. Okay, she took a bit of damage. That's fine. Brilliant. God, everyone is like wet and burnt and electrocuted. Okay, well that was fabulous. I think we all just need to hang. Let everything stop sparking. Okay. Okay. At least things have stayed interesting. Now. Shovel might need a long rest. Fine. But we should also have... But our little backup creature. A little imp. Should also be able to go into Fabulous. Still alive. So that's progress. Okay, well that was fun. Uh no problem, buddy. Enjoy. Go and go and pop another message somewhere else. Um, okay, let's check it out. Chiefy, chiefy, chiefy. Lightning jabber. It's a spear. Possibly shock your targets. Well, because we... Because we've kind of turned, um... Harlak into a bit of a thrower. Like, she... She throws stuff rather than having ranged weapons. Petrified tumor. That's... Disgusting. Take it. Uh, Pearl. We'll take that too. Topaz. Sure. Bloodstone. Don't mind if I do. Rusty spear. No, thank you. Pearl. What? What is a starfish for? Striking in color and shape, this five-pointed creature is commonly found clinging to waterside rocks. No, thank you. They've all got petrified tumors. Oh, yeah, Munchkin. What's going on? Oh, yeah. You want a nap? Want to go hang? The same with, like, when I was teaching, like, you'd always get a little bit worried when it was a really windy day, because kids would just go crazy. Like, they literally just lose the plot a little bit. Uh, we can send that to camp. We can eat fish later. Hilarious that they're carrying around fish. Okay, just chilling in the back. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, go. Guys, you guys, you guys need to get your livers checked. They're all in bad shape. Okay, let's out these ones. Oh, we need to pick up all of the uh, Arlax daggers and javelins that we'll throw in early on. The only sort of uh, downside to having a uh, character like that is if you don't go pick everything back up again. She runs out of stuff to throw. Uh, and a fish. Wish I had a bag of holding. Is there a bag of holding in this game? That one. down there before. There you go. Hey. Okay. Right. Hilarious part. Well, the part that I find hilarious about Baldur's Gate is that you go in, you like sort of scope out an area and you're like, oh, we'll just go check out this. And then it's literally like 30 minutes later because you're like, oh, we ended up in a fight. Gone fishing. Catch you later. Ellis. That's... Not worth it. Um, fish barrel, fish barrel. Da, 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 da. Okay, there was a chest back here. Horn shell? 
Not for four coin. Take that, take that. Thank you. Now, there was also, excuse me, there was also the painted chest. Open. Got those close. Open. No rotten fish. Thank you. Painted chest. Open. Okay, cool. These, I think, are both for. Yep. Fabulous. Worth it. Uh, look, I wouldn't say it was worth it, but. Gotta, gotta find anything. Twitch was, uh, last respond to my report. Oh, what, what did you, what did you report? Ominous crevice. No, I don't think we will be going down the ominous crevice today. I'll go over there because then it might put it on the map. Okay, so it puts it on the map. We'll just, we'll just leave it there. For now, don't need to be investigating an ominous crevice right now. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. We climb this. Um. The music's picked up again. Yay! Now, what we might do? Indolence breeds madness. Might take a chug. Still breathing, despite Still breathing. everything. For now. Let's go check out. Really, I really don't want. Especially if Raphael turns up being like, do not go in there. And if you do, kill it quickly. Um, go through this stuff. House of Healing. Let's. Hi! <laughs> Come up here and have a nap, babe. Honestly, okay. Don't give me trouble now. Why don't you want to go go find your fish? Find your fish and bring it back to me. Or not. Whatever. Oh, yep. Oh dear. Yeah, no, she's <laughs> running around. Being a cat. Hey! You wanna come up here? Yeah. She just looks at me and she's like, no. Wait, don't. That's a power cord. Please don't. That's, that's bad. Okay, this might be the wrong thing to do. Let's find out. Oh, see, secret side room? Wait, is this a house of healing in that they're doing it with surgery rather than magic. That seems barbaric. If you have access to just healing magic, <laughs> performing like invasive surgery seems really backwards. <laughs> um, every page of this medical text is crisp and unblemished and every quill stroke is precise. Sharon, 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 Sharon. Sharon, so followers of Shah, um, aphorisms and general philosophies accompany illicit diagrams, explicit diagrams, surgical guidelines. Only with sacrifices must we gain, so has our lady said, and so I say to you, dearest reader, darkness is infinite, but a master's teachings are not. When his wisdom is exhausted and his pupils fully versed, it shall be time for one final lesson. He will become the subject fully laid bare for his students to consult, examine, and dissect. Sisters shall have one day no the sisters shall one day know me. First in whole, last in part. Only then will they be masters. Oh, this is gross. This is gross. This is okay, so the person that's 
currently on the cutting table when we sort of... Come here. You, you're cutting laps on me and I can't... Hey, up here. Anyway, um, so the person that's on the cutting table, I think, is the master, and they're dissecting him as part of their final test, which is gross and a lot. Hey, cabinet, alchemy stuff. There's a mind flare parasite. Normally. We get like a little like indication going like, oh, it's over there. I wonder if it's because we're in the Shadow Curse. Mellow black shirt. Again, doesn't look black. Oh, take it. Snugglesome green shirt sent to camp. Uh, open the desk. Oh, it's always bad when there's, like, healing potions readily available. It's like, oh, open the cupboard. What's inside? Healing potions. You think we're going to die. The game is a bit colorblind. A little bit. A little Yeah, it's like, oh, look at this black. And you're like, this. oh, babe, that's not black. <laughs> I love what you're doing, but not black. Whenever you deal poison damage, the target needs to succeed in constitutes saving throw or become poison. None of our people are really poisonous. <laughs> we will take the gloves, so. though. Um, let's... Can I... Take an arrow. Roll books. Judge of the Damned. Excerpt from the book in which Iphigen Mogros discusses the strange theistic history of mortals becoming gods. Okay. There have been many lords of death who cast judgment upon souls lost and found alike. Among them was Kelimbor, a hard man of harder convictions. Kicker! Welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Um, we're currently we're currently in the Shadowlands, um, as it were. First person to read the books in there. Oh, look! I've seen other people play this, and they're literally just like, "Yep, cool. Yep, cool. Yep, cool." I was like, "But, but." <laughs> I don't know anything about this world. <laughs> I was like, I've always, I always need to read. We need to know things. You end up learning stuff that you then use in conversation. Crazy. Crazy. Um, we're doing well. We're doing well. We're, we're getting through it. Um, as a mortal man, he was a mercenary with a paladin stoic beliefs hidden under a crust of scowls and crumbles. As Lord of Death, he was forced to mellow both aspects of himself. For the impulses of a man and a god are not consummate. Mortals are allowed caprice, but immortality wears that stone smooth quickly. Helen Vore chose cool prudence over cold malice. Interesting. Oh, you're more than welcome. Um, game teach me a lot about possible being a daughter. Yeah, well, and that's the thing too. It's like, I'm, I'm taking a lot of it to be like, oh, this must be what's in, uh, this must be part of D&D. &D. Um, some of it could just, could just be made up. Who knows? Okay, hang on. This one. Uh, ba 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 Roll books. Therapeutics. Uh, Marguerite OG's therapeutics. Discussions with the Wanai, Wanai Amensa? On Onuromancer. Yield nothing of merit so far. New incense and hallucinogens trigger nothing. Another fruitless day. Something's happened. The... I'm just gonna call them the subject. I don't know how to pronounce that. The, uh, the subject ingested something one of her own clients recommended. She refuses to divulge the name of the substance, but her dreams were scrawled on the nearby blank canvas as we'd intentioned. Here's what the paintings show. Fictions follow a weird lumbering shape sailing over cities. Metal windmills attached to their sides. Windmills attached to their sides. And here, oblongs fitted with wheels tearing locomotive tr across a track. And here, a mechanized person waving directly at the viewer. What? Did they ingest something that made them see the future? 
potentially? Now, I don't... Oh, I don't know if we're meant to just... Aragorn our way through the double doors and be like, surprise! Or if we... Go through the side door. Actually, it looks like that side door goes back outside again. So you know what? Let's just introduce ourselves. Hello, puppets. What's all this then? The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. Oh, that's where you are. For the Scalpel <laughs> hey, Bolin, is an extension in. of Sha. Malice Thorn. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Here, it's comfort. Is Here this a relative of Catherine? Mercy. Oh, this is a lot. I apologize for anyone who's not wanting to Pray, see this. Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. <laughs> where did Stop. they get a person? Stay your hand. For it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. What's up? You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. This is a lot. I don't wish to study, only to lift the curse on this land. A student, yes, do please enlighten me. My character always has a little flirty look. Well, look, we, we ended up with our, with our dear old Hester. We, we've ended up just making him like this tired adventurer that's got sucked into this absolute, like, save the world ordeal. And he's like, fine. <laughs> So I feel like he's come across this and he's like, why are they chopping up a living body? What are they doing? Um, a student, yes, do please enlighten me. We will stop this sick spectacle at once. What's wrong with the... What wrong has this man done to deserve such torture? They're not going to see it as torture. I wonder if they... <laughs> he's had enough, exactly. He's like, I just want to cure this thing in my head and I want to go home. <laughs> um... They definitely come across as like that they have lived here for the last hundred years, especially old fella Malice. Or are we meant to learn from them? I feel like we need to be a little bit cunning and be like, yeah, sure, tell it, tell us more. <laughs> they have the right energy. They just don't know how. <laughs> Kick is like, hmm. Boom. <laughs> do do enlighten me. I'm I'm morbidly curious. Do enlighten me, particularly in a world. That I was I was saying just a little bit earlier. I'm like in a world of magical healing. Actual physical invasive surgery seems really barbaric. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. Oh! What the fuck is this loon talking about? Yeah, I'm with Karlak. This got crazy. See? Oh! Oh! It's the light oh. of eyes. It's on that screen too? But the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being. If light what? is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. Lady, you have a corset on your head. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. <gasps> Let us finish the cure. Because we only have one working eyeball. That's, that is, that's a clever little bit of additional writing. That is very good. You accidentally put your undies on your head. Aww. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. I was like, what is, what is on your head, babe? Um, examine the sisters and their implements. Recall what you know of Ta Shah's teachings. The sisters aren't ready. They'll make me sick instead of curing me. 
Let's... Let's do an investigation. Let's examine the implements. Oh, we're dumb. Oh, we're so dumb. Oh, I forgot we were dumb. We're charming, but we're dumb. Oh, we're so dumb. What? You look around the room and you don't see them anymore. <laughs> I think, hang on. I think I also have, there we go. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll again and spread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, cause that is, that's like, I get that we have a negative one on intelligence, but that is, that's an epic fail. Let's roll again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nothing, nothing like a nat one to make you go, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Needs help, yeah. If, if, guys, if you could just inspire me, because at the moment, I'm looking, but I'm not seeing anything. The sister's blades are bloodied and dull. Only the most measured hand could make a clean incision. Oh, I don't think they're measured. The blades are uneven. Efficient surgery will require further training. Let's, the let's, let, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Carlac will show her where the sisters are standing. Uh, yeah, yeah, Carlac will be like, one's there and one's over there. <laughs> Pull the little blurb on uh, LSV. Yeah. Husband was a lifesaver in his teens and two years ago. He saved my ass. Oh my goodness. Kick it. That's awesome. Yeah. So each um, each month I make a donation to a um, like a charity or a not-for-profit. Uh, last month was like minus 18. The month before that was I think Red Nose Day. So yeah. Just a little something that we do and then that way we can sort of promote that sort of stuff stuff like that we have a redeem that goes live each month as well oh each week hi okay finally ready you ready for to curl up and have a nap no okay cool cool awesome feeling very appreciated um but yeah no so i love i love doing that sort of stuff too it also means that like because like usually and it's mainly like before i started streaming I would get to like tax time and be like, oh, I've not made any donations. <laughs> and so now it's just like, I, I was like, oh, if I do this, it's just going to be like a, a way that I'm making sure that I'm consistently, you know, giving back to the community and then doing some little, you know, promoting in the chat as well. Um, okay, their blades are uneven. If efficient surgery will require further training. Their incisions are as yet still streaked with imprecision. Mm -hmm. That much I must concede. You must. How to steady their hands, I wonder. Oh no. Oh, I thought he was going to be like, killing. Um, I've read your treaty. This is why I read, guys. Initiate the final lesson or die by my hand. Oh my goodness. Because we've read the book. See, I feel like if you just automatically just pick it up, because I think it, like, if you if you open it and just pop it in your pocket, or whatever, it counts as being read. I feel like you, as the as that player, would not understand what some of these options were. Didn't have the book option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've read your treaty. Initiate the final lesson or die by my hand. Only with sacrifice is mastery gained. For the sisters to learn, you must submit. We, persuasion is a charisma, yeah, which we have a four in. So let's, let's use the book. 80. Yes. Wait, are we gonna, are we gonna watch this man get vivisected? Yes. They all approve? Submit, I must into the ladies all the girls are like yeah good cut him open i see now by example i must edify and quell the light that blinds us that is but he's like get off my table it's my turn <laughs> come sisters soothe me <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> I don't believe that man has ever been to medical school. I think he might be dead. The necklace. The necklace. The, the crazy monk. Oh, we got so much inspiration from that. Hilarious. Uh, hey. No? Okay, I should really... That... That was, uh, that was... You told him that the sisters should fight each other. Bolin, do they, like, do they fight each other to the point of there's one left and then you have to fight the two of them? Because I imagine it'd be a bit Hunger Gamesy. Or do they all, like, do they all die? He was cured. He was cured. Okay. Was he though? Oh, we don't need a jar of coagulated blood. And then you fight him. Oh. Whereas, like, now that they have, like, no... I don't know. Hang on. Are they gonna, like, turn? Like, they're just undead. I don't know if we're meant to talk. Because I'll be honest, I came here... To try and find a way to wake up Art. <laughs> I didn't realize this was gonna happen. But I'm so glad we uh, went in the back way and read the book. Hey, okay, we're just gonna. Level 7. 193 hit points. Are you kidding me? I'm glad that was dodged. Surgeon's Subjugation Amulet. Paralyze and critical once per long rest when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Fabulous. Battered loot. Officials AC carved into the body. I mean, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna... We're gonna take the loot because, hang on, we'll pick up the key. Um, because the last time, like the spider loot, that ended up opening up a mission. Like that was insane. Love that on Lazy Car. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's gonna be cute on them. Cause they're my uh, they're my jump right to it, ladies. Hastening spores. Fabulous. Um. Oh, no, no, we're not picking up intestines. Distressed patient. This man had four hit points. We're not lying in the... We're not lying in the bed. Um... I don't... I don't know if we're meant to set ourselves up to take them out. Because, again... We came here to try and figure out how to wake up Art Kalal. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Like, I don't want to fight you, but I will. We have to just, like, go through all the rows of books and try and find a bit of something. A dead sister! Wait, mul multiple dead sisters? Artificial leech. Hand me my leech! Is the class action? <laughs> what? Equips the surgeon with a bloated biting leech, allowing him to cast leech. <laughs> disturbing. Um, sent to camp, I guess? Lady. I honestly, I honestly don't know what we're meant to be, um, oh, I was meant to send that to, hi, 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 everyone can just see your tail, 
Hey. What are you doing? Off you go. She's very restless. Don't know why. It could be the uh, smells on the wind. A trepin? Hand me my trepin? Do they all have these? A terror trepin? Oh my goodness. Gross. Um, gross and disturbing and all the things. Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast. Yeah, great. That is not what I, not what I need. Who's out here? Sister Lidwin. With dead people? Homera? Was that one of the kids? And what? No, they were sent to Moonrise. Or well, Mole was Mole was taken to three guys. Thought maybe they might of their own volition. Like try and take us out. But apparently not. The weave. Syringe. He is absence. Wraithwind necrology. Sootstain scroll is a list of the dead, specifically casualties of battle. It's dated 986 DR, about a half a millennium ago, and signed by Malice Thorn. This guy is old. Titus Craft, Justicia, Decapitation. Lord and Eben, Justicia, Blood Loss. Unknown Salunite, Arcane Burns. Unknown, Smash Skull. More and more, Justicia, Split in Two. Oh, yeah, no problem at all, Kicker. Thank you very much for the luck. Um, Unknown Druid, Crushed Windpipe. From these names follow hundreds of others. Final index, catalogues, objects plucked from various boxes, daggers, pins, and jewelry of all sorts. Well, I guess we'll take that. Uh, we do not need those. This is disturbing. Soul points. This research was funded independently and conducted. Where'd she go? Up here. Good girl. Hi. It's better. Hey, hey, hey. You okay? You gonna sit on the lap or are you gonna hang out there? Bring me your okay. Um. Independently conducted at a site in Avernus, the first plane of the Nine Hells, Candlekeep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of mortal souls. Soul coins, as a concept, are one of merciless simplicity. <sighs> The sum of personal and magical essence, the soul, is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils of their cohort. They are frequently traded for their value, can purchase mercenaries, magical items, and even fuel the strange engines in the hells. However, there is a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted she has one coin that she will never sell, for it, it was the bargain that got her promoted out of Lamua status. She connected me to a half-elf warlock who had promised his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. The next 50 pages appear to be painstakingly written legal document in Infernal, with a headache-inducing number of footnotes. That seems about right for a, uh, for a soul contract. I love that they just, like, went, went and wrote it all down. Um, I don't think I can... Oh, maybe we can. Something good here. Oh, hopefully. Hope. Luna Dark Lies. The scroll is filled with soothing, persuasive arguments. Windy! Um, persuasive arguments encouraging the sick at heart to turn themselves from Sehanine worship. 
Is that meant to be like Salunite worship? Sehanine worship. The Moon Maiden, as the goddess is called, will whisper he north that lies. No problem solved. Absence. Only a sense of fondness that is Absence. as is cold as the him. Lunar Marina. Seas of empty pale dust and even that gradually fading border. As an alternative, the scroll speaks of Shard, who whispers only truth. Her fondness is warm, unexpectedly so for a goddess of darkness, grief, and nihilism. But why should that be unexpected? The sick at heart will find only succor and blessings in the grace of she who understands them best. Interesting. I do find, like, the... It's almost like the struggle of, like, darkness and light. Anything of use? Between, like, Sharans and Salunites, that each of them... Bone saw. Let me guess. Hand me my saw. Um... That each of them is under the impression that the other is, like, lying and corrupt and blah blah blah, like all that sort of jazz. Oh, scalpel, we don't need a scalpel. Price of pride. I think this taken me all the... Okay, this is the second time that we've found that speech. Skulls, great. Now is this a stack of books? Okay. I feel like we're meant to find it in here mainly because that's where like the circle is for this mission, right? Wait, there's only one of them is highlighted. Sister Hunter. Maybe we need to talk to Oh no, wait, okay, right, never mind, they're all here. Okay, maybe we need to uh, put on our big boy pants and talk to one of them. And. Master! No! No! Not Master! Not! Okay. Because he didn't exactly give them, like, parting instructions. Like, when you kill me, you realize you will be the master now. Be still, darling. Let Sister Anya comfort you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Vanessa? You remain silent. Oh. That's not creepy at all. Stand there. Quietly with your bandaged head. The great cure. Final. Final. Forever. Okay, well, you've all been zero help. Thank you. Um. Let's go up this way. As I saw, there's like an elevator with a button. Above, like up there. So maybe we need to go out and talk to this last. This, oh, there's, oh. So, so many sisters. Cool. Oh. Gonna take the stairs. I'm just gonna take the stairs. I'm just gonna take the stairs. It's fine. There's some shadows out there. Oh, hey, button, button. Middle loop up here. That's a skeleton. No. Okay, everybody on the platform, I guess. I hope. Is out, darling. If you will. Action, not reaction. And shadow heart. What's next, I wonder? Is that blood? <sighs> no. Never mind. Interesting. 
library and records. Oh, this might be where we actually need to find stuff. Ahead. Oh, is everyone, everyone with me? Yep, lovely, fabulous. Might actually find the stuff for um, art. Bet I can crack that open. Is that blood? Like the black smears on the on the ground? Because I'm assuming that was them dragging that initial reluctant patient in. Um, when they always say, oh, is that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These boots have seen everything. Like, oh, I've got a lot of my mind and in it. <laughs> Hello? Okay, secret library. Surely this, surely this has some information. Portrait of a woman. No, thank you. Empty, empty books. Great. Empty books. Raw books. See invisibility. I can already do that. Hospital library key. Okay. We've picked up three keys in the last, like, two rooms. And so far, nothing to key. Roots. Oh, so we could have climbed up here the whole time. Good to know. Oh, hang on, wait. Okay. Build a chest. Something's got to yield results, right? Like... <laughs> Otherwise, why is the mission being like, here, here, come over here? Okay. Fabulous. Pop this baby open. I mean, like, yay, thank you. Like, coin, coin and spells, we'll take it, definitely. But, it, but it just, like, we're looking for answers. <sighs> oh, another chest. Interesting. Also, another chest that doesn't use one of the three keys that we've picked up in this area. The Lords of Madness. Uh, Demon Lords. Chosen young guru must have lost their skills. Kill hyena, beast on the corpse of a chosen victim. And a knoll is born of the blooded belly of the hyena. Knolls thus born are hunger manifest. They ravage any living being tearing body. Okay. Well, I mean, we've seen that happen before. So this is... Not surprising, in the least. Um, interesting that we have to get this far to go, oh, that's what happens with them. Spin the wheel. Answers in the center console. Armor. What do you mean armor? What? Like, do you mean gloves? Because that is what you have offered us. Gloves. They aren't golden, so I feel like I will pick them up. Okay, the... Okay, change. I was like, maybe... Because we need to... Oh, well, apparently we need to find something for Art Kalar to, like, jog his memory. Maybe it's the gloves? Curse to put my hands on everything. Uh, death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain. It is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces of disease, war, funeral rites. So there's no single god of dead, like there's multiple? For countless eons it was Jurgle, the lord of the end of everything, presided over mor moral mortality with his unblinking stare until even he grew weary. 
Young Baal, Bane, and Merkel must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death, yet he used their ambitions to free himself. Leather god. Merkel claimed primacy, so there was a, like a singular god of death. And then these three adventurers were like, we're going to conquer death. And he's like, no, no, you've all been promoted. I'm done. <laughs> you now all have a new job you didn't sign up for. Um, Merkel claimed primacy over death from Jurgle's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder, if not the most violent of deaths, seized by Baal in his incessant greed? What need would there be for noble Kelimvor? Wait, we... we we read Kelimvor earlier. Uh, to judge passing souls if one deity could hold the process of piety. Even gods can die after all. Those who worship death should remember that above all else. Interesting. Silver knife. No, thank you. Lots of hankies. And intestines. Surgery kit. Not I mean, me. take it. Um. Okay, we've... Go outside? I'm trying to stay, like, within the circle of the... The Ark Kalar mission. Okay, that's going to be blocked off, so then we go this way. I'm really keen to wake him up, mainly because I think it's going to be what, um... Potentially, what unlocks Halson? Not unlocks the wrong word, hey. So confused right now. Werewolf, welcome on in. It's a confusing time. We're, um. We're currently trying to. Oh. Found a bird's nest. With a pig's head? A uh, mushroom? Harpy feather? Shadow fungus, no thanks. Let's open the skeleton. Let's take that. A gold chalice. Send that to camp. That's good for some coin later. That is not producing the desired results. Can we see who's down there. That's a that's a dog. Or it's canine looking. Holy crap, is that Moon Rhymes? No, thank you. Um, do we have... Hang on. Show in the journal. Found Art's last orders to investigate the House of Healing. If we follow in his footsteps, we might learn, learn more about him. Okay, maybe we need to go into the front bit. I have no idea what SSA is. Apologies, Werewolf. Um, okay, if we... Maybe if we head back downstairs. I don't know. Like, this was all clearly difficult-ish to get to. And that's why I'm a little bit confused as to why there wasn't, like... Why there wasn't something like big and obvious being like, congratulations, you found the book. You found the the thing that's going to help wake up art. So a little bit confused. Oh, you might have to might have to contact them. I I can't help you on that. Um Okay, I think what we'll have to do is head back down again. Who is it? Indolence breeds madness. Go on. Let's get on with it. Let's get well, babe. I'd love to, but you got to get on the elevator. Let's get going. I'm trying to think of what else we Can't potentially. Give up now. Missed. So while this is, I think like this is still technically the house of healing. 
Staff betting pool. Urgent request for supplies. Oh, that's a... That's a body. To Chief Churgan, Harborside Hospital, Baldur's Gate. House of Healing. Urgent! Wait, were they all here? Because this is clearly from a long time ago. They all here when the Shadow Curse hit and they all went a little bit... Um... Sir or Madam, we have reached dire times in Wraithwind. War has come. Do you not teach that it is our duty to mend all who break, comfort all who ail, without regard for the gods they worship or the champions they heed? Yet our surgeon Malisthorm abides by his own creed. The will of Shah, he might say, I dare not argue with him, or any form. He allows supplies to dwindle, leaves some patient's injuries to fester so he may study and commands me to nurse only dark justiciers that seek treatment. I beg you, sir or madam, please deliver us aid so I might close every tear and cleanse every wound, even those of harpers and saloonites. We will humbly accept all you can offer, potions, herbs, sutures, even clerics. Help us to heal with gratitude, Anna Lidwin. Oh boy. So it got dark in here. It got real, real, real bad. Um, betting pool. House of Healing staff pool rules. Foreign body must be lodged in redacted cavity. Are you kidding me? Number two, once a guess is made, it may not be made again. Number three, minimum bet is one gold piece. Oh god. Round one bets. So there's a pool of 11 gold. Lidwin, chicken egg, cinder, wine bottle, hunter, carrot, Vanessa, candlestick, winner! Anya, ogre's finger. Round two bets. Pool of 15. Lidwin, live rat, winner and yuck. Cinder, children's doll. Hunter, pearl necklace, John, marbles. Vanessa, potato. Anya, minotaur horn. And then for the last round, Cinder, quill. Cinder, quill! <laughs> Sometimes, occasionally something pops up in this game that you're like, is that meant to be? Like, was this like a Easter egg or something? Because, because you, you must know. What was the... Oh, Jala, The flaming fist. And she's like, I'm Fistula. And I was like, surely, surely one of you said it out loud and went, we can't call it that. And someone went, no, no, leave it in. Cinderquill, hilarious. Hana, cremation urn. Jan, flute. Vanessa, whipping cane. And Anya, troll's tooth. Why is there no winner for the last one? That's gross and disturbing. Um, as Nightbots just said, if you are lurking with us today, we hope you're doing well. Um, understand people can't be in the chat all the time, but you hanging out is also very nice and lovely of you, so thank you very much for spending time here. Um, hope you've been having a lovely start to your week. What are we? Tuesday. Yeah. Char's Temptation allows you to cast Charm Person once per short rest. Okay. Give that to Shadowheart. Just use Charm. Okay, so let's, before we talk to that nurse. Boy. Bone saw, bottles, empty, 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 empty. Coagulated blood, gross shelves. Okay. Got potions. Oh, we got potions. We've got a note. Surgeon's memorandum. All Wraithwin House of Healing medical personnel from Malice. It has come to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anaesthetic resources on the elderly and the mortally wounded. 
Nurse Lidwin informs me this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and guides them to Our Lady's final embrace. Never have I heard such abject nonsense. Um, apologies if the wind is interfering with the microphone. I've got uh, the doors open to add some fresh air into the place. But the wind, it's been a windy day. Um, anesthetic is a tool to relieve my ears of the subject's screams as I apply the blade. Not, not a mercy to be freely dispersed to living corpses. Living corpses! So has saith Shah, only in the infirm suffering may we forget our own. The next to ignore this missive will fill my scalpel without sedative. I'm simply... I will simply have to endure the shrieks. This guy be creepy. I mean, this like, zero surprise, obviously. Uh, open? I don't know why there's a bottle in the Oh, is there a bottle in the skeleton because the nurses were betting? Because that's gross. Flies. Yay. Um. Uh, sponge tray. Ugh. Okay, let's go the long way around. Just in case we accidentally trigger her. She's yellow, so she should just be chatty. But who knows in this game? There's a chest over here. Interesting. Okay. Rusty short sword, bucket, wine, and bottle. I can hear the shadows screaming outside. Love that for us. Um, yeah. Wait, where was that skeleton? On the roof, I'm guessing. Um, open this one, I guess. True love's embrace. Intimate embrace. One of a magical pair of rings. Are you kidding me? Do we have to go find this other ring? One of a magical pair of rings. This allows the wearer to cast warding bond once per long rest on a creature wearing the matching ring. Scholar of love, Joel Firis Beldinus. Um, writes that the next time he reads about a woman compared to a flower, or any feature of geography for that matter, he's going to start knocking on poets' doors with a sledgehammer. I mean, we'll take it. Bonded by love. Husband's diary. Is there a wife somewhere? Or another husband? Entry 47. We're being attacked. My brave, beautiful Miranda volunteered to fight... She says it's her duty as a cleric of Shah. I can't bear the thought of anything happening to her, but I know she'd be angry if I said anything. I'll pray to Our Lady to keep her safe. Entry 48. Miranda woke me in full armor, a smile on her face. She got down on one knee and proposed a beautiful obsidian ring in her hand. Of course I said yes. As a cleric, she was able to marry us then and there. Bless the rings as she slipped them on our fingers. I'm terrified for her, but I'm also so happy. I knew she loved me. I knew it. Entry 49. Miranda faced down an entire troop of harpers, killing every last one. She didn't have a scratch on her. Blessed be the Lady of Loss. I tried to prepare a celebratory meal for her, but I had a dizzy spell. Blood poured from my nose and Miranda found me passed out on the floor. She told me to rest and not to bother going to the House of Healing. That it was likely the stress. She's right, but I'm still scared. Entry 50. I know Miranda said not to, but I went to the House of Healing. Blood leaks from my nose and ears, and there's strange wounds all over my body. The nurse kept asking about my ring, and when I told her myself and Miranda just got married, she looked at me strangely. When I asked me what was wrong, she sent me home, telling me not to come back. There are black spots in my vision, and I can't feel my legs. What's wrong with me? What's happening? Are the rings? Curse? Is, is, is the, is there a, like a wife skeleton out there somewhere? Now, interesting that this heavy chest is coming up red. So clearly, it's for, it's like, no, no, for stealing. Sister Cinder. Cinder Quill. 
Because the doctor is absent today. Come back another time. Oh, he's absent because your sisters uh, killed him. Now is she not gonna look? She just, she just, uh, she just lost attitude with us. I didn't realize I could do that. Hang on, let me... It was like, Hestu, uh, Hestu, and then attitude by negative five. Where is that? I want, I want this chest. And if we have to fight you for it, we will. We mean can't use this right now. I demand. <laughs> Can I get Karlak to just pop it in a pocket? I'm just gonna steal it. I'm just gonna steal the whole chest. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm assuming if we take her out fast enough, she won't like call for reinforcements. So let's get our little uh a little impidimp on the case. We can also do sting rather than just claws. Fabulous. Okay, Carla. I got this. I got this. I hope so, babe. Son's gift. A strong paralytic poison. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I think this is just the same. Yep, there's every other potion book that we've picked up. Patient's registry. This exhaustive log lists each and every patient to have ever sought healing in Rayquin, along with their ailments. The minor injuries and common diseases of the early pages give way to critical wounds and deep lacerations, the repercussions of battle. Several unbound scrolls have been slid among the final pages, demanding that healers turn away wounded Harpers and Salunites and reserve their tonics for wounded Dark Justices on the orders of General Ketherick Thorm. This is nepotism at its finest. It's like, my brother runs the hospital, and so therefore you will only heal my people. Everyone else can die. Um, we oh, will get... Our attention. We'll get her to drop the chest. Was that the chest? Yes. Heavy chest. Drop. Yeah. Um, and then we'll get Hesu to no open No time her. to rest. This has got to have... Hospital library key. Okay. I'm inclined to do a Google because I feel like we've missed... Somehow we've missed... This music does not match the situation. Somehow we've missed... What should... What should give us answers on how to wake up art? Because I'm, like, I'm keen to do it. But I really... It's going to be... I, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that it's like... Particularly... Let's move. Particularly when it's like, oh, it's in this circle. And we've gone down into here now. Like, that was where... That was where we just stole the, um... Chest from. And I thought maybe... We've been down on the ground floor, we're on this floor, we've went up a level into like the into the library, which is where I thought we would actually where we would actually get the information. If it ends up being that like, oh, all you needed was those gloves. Urgh. 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? Then this should have progressed. Should have progressed. Um, let's see. Because that's the thing too. I'm also. Uh, wake up. Art color. It's the upside of um, doing like a walkthrough is you can scroll through and then it gets to the point that you need the hint for. You're like, cool, let's not look at the rest. Let's just, let's just, you know, leave it at that. Okay, so Halston gives us the information. Have to go to the House of Healing. Okay. We've dealt with Malice Thorn in a very unique way. Um, go and nap in the chair in the back. Uh, operating theatre, large octagon room. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> The, the, the option of getting in with his own information in the book is apparently the best way to get through that bit without... Um, are you kidding me? Kidding me. It's the loot. It's the loot. Oh my god. Oh gosh. I'm so glad we didn't have to fight him because it sounds like an insane fight. Once he reaches like 110 hit points, he starts multi-attacking. That would have been horrible. Um, several useful items, including a battered loot, bring this loot to Kalar and play a few notes to wake him up. Are you kidding? That should have... There should have... <sighs> There should have been sort of a thing of like, oh, now go back to art. Like, not necessarily go play the loot for him, but just like a, hey, like, go back to him. You're like, okay, so we did something. Now, I don't think I held on to it. I think I sent it to camp because I thought it was just a loot. Cool. Okay, we should should be able to. First of all, let's teleport back to the inn. Oh. <laughs> Stress. <laughs> hey, lovely people. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, then we need to go to the camp so we can retrieve the loot. How do people think this out? I Do you know what, Meta? It's one of those things I'm like, did, did I miss something? I thought it would just... Do you know what? Do you know what I probably missed? It probably has... Um... It probably has a lining. Probably has a lining. And I... Like, I did probably actually miss something. Latest. It's... It's freaking... It's... Orange. I should have... I should have picked up on that. Definitely. Wake up, Arco. Oh, it's because we didn't pick it up. Son of a bitch. Because we sent it straight to camp, it didn't progress it to the next bit. Ugh. In trying to be efficient, we were too efficient. <laughs> we efficiented ourselves out of <laughs> progressing the quest. <laughs> okay, like that's... My bad. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so we need to... Whip it. And then we need to go play it for him. Hey, everybody. Everyone is on high alert. We did get attacked. Nice to see all the demon bodies are still here. Okay. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Um, now I think I just play it? I think I just play it. Um, I don't think we have to play... Because the spider one had a particular spider song. It's gonna be... Indian soon. Bar dance. Uh, Queen's High Seas. Let's try and play that. Climb, climb, climbing up the tree and 
Okay. Maybe we need to talk to him and try? Because clearly just strumming and doing a poor performance was not going to help. He keeps saying Daniel's name. He must know more. We need to rouse him. Big fella, I agree. I found a loot. It seems to have belonged to a flaming fist. Here we go. Good. Its music might help restore him. Show it to him. Pull out the loot you found and play a little. Oh, here we go. I like approves. This has got to wake him up. Daniel, right? he's still trapped there. He needs help. Oh my God, he's awake. Calm, breathe. <laughs> You've been trapped in the shadow fell for a century. Take a moment to clear your mind. A century? Your whole sin. Thaniel said to find you. You must help him. Please. I love, will. Love to, But man. I need to know where Thaniel is. Yeah. If I venture into the Shadowfell blind, I will never find him. I'm not sure I can put it into words. The landscape there shifts and changes. Right. What could possibly go wrong? Let Halson handle this? No. The man will get himself killed. Don't tell me I brought you back for nothing. How rude. Was there anything that could offer guidance? Something that didn't change? Lavender. Whenever I saw Thaniel, I always <coughs> smelled lavender. I can work with that. Rest now. Meet me by the lake shore. I have what we need to proceed, but oh. I'll need your help. Be ready. This may prove perilous. Oh, man on a mission. Off he goes. Oh, okay. Is he, has he got, has he got the pixie blessing automatically? Ah! Hang on, there you go. No, he's just got the blessing of Saluna. Mate, you're not gonna, gonna make it through. I'm hesitant to... I'm hesitant to go to him because it's going to kick off... I'm assuming it's going to kick off a whole next thing. How sent... Baby, where are you going? Are you, you going to stop there? Okay, good man. Good man. I'm, I'm inclined... I'm inclined to have us pause here and this is where we will pick up next stream. Because then that way, that way, like we're not gonna we're not gonna start something for like ten minutes and be like, oh, let's see what happens next time. Like we, this is where we can just um, kick off from. So that that is that. Like there was a, it, again, it goes back to sort of like the fact that we don't know what we're doing, <laughs> that everything's a bit sort of awkward and what have you. But look, we. We took on those random fish people that appeared out of the water. <laughs> I forgot about them. Um, and we we dealt with the we dealt with the surgeon um, in a very unique way. And I'm kind of glad we didn't have that fight because we would probably still be fighting it because it seemed like a lot. Um, this is why it's important to read books, uh, especially in a game full of lore, full of lore. But yes, that's where we'll leave it, and this is where we'll pick up and then we'll hopefully save Daniel.